Welcome to the session on ordering of sentences. Ordering of sentences, also called as para jumbles, are one of the most important areas of questions in various competitive exams. You will see them in competitive exams taken for banking, RRB, SSC, higher education exams like CAT, MAT, ISET, TOEFL. It is also a common question seen in various campus hiring procedures. In a para jumble question, we would have a jumbled paragraph with some clues in the sentences to indicate the order in which they appear in the original paragraph. Here, to begin with, we have some ordering of letters. This gets to go and make you understand how we can find letters or words in paragraphs and arrange them in an order. When you look at these words, these words can be anything that you know at all. However, with some clues, it becomes that much more easier to arrive at what the word could be. Kindly pause your video to arrive at an answer of your own. The words are New York, a city, Russia, a country, plumber, a profession, tongue, a body part, lady's finger, a vegetable, cheetah, an animal, basketball a sport, helicopter a vehicle. Ordering of words. Ordering of words are another set of questions that can be expected in few papers. Here the idea of usage of basic parts of speech, grammar comes into picture. Also punctuation gets tested in these kind of questions. Kindly pause the video to come up with an answer on your own. Refer our videos on grammar for further information. The answer for those sentences is as such. Do your parents watch television in the evening? Here, in this particular question, the usage of question mark, how to follow a close-ended question is tested. In the second sentence, the answer is Jeremy always takes the 8 o'clock bus on Monday mornings. Here, there were certain clues that you can look for in the question itself to be able to arrive at the answer. Jeremy is a proper noun. It begins with the capital letter J. Monday is another proper noun. It is talking about the name of the day in the week. It also begins with a capital letter. There is a O clock in the question which makes us understand it is talking about time and 8 is the only word in the sentence where there is a number. So as such we can arrive at certain understanding how few words can connect with each other and we can arrive at the sentence. The last one Ben could you bring the bread to the dining room please. Here the usage of please forming a request is tested. Often people use please at the beginning of their request. However, it is suggested that please be put at the end of your request. There is also an intonation pattern that you can follow when you form a request. Ben, could you bring the bread to the dining room please? This would not be possible if please is put at the beginning of the request. Please, Ben, could you bring the bread to the dining room? You will note that the intonation pattern of how this request is formed is different from the other. Let's talk about what is ordering of sentences. Ordering of sentences are also known as para jumbles. At times, they are referred to as jumbled sentences. In these kind of questions, there is a paragraph given. However, the sentences in the paragraph are not arranged in the correct order. It is up to us to understand the logic behind the paragraph and arrange the sentences such that we form a logical, coherent paragraph. There are two types of para jumbles. They are floating and rooted jumbles. We will look into them in our next video.